Johnny from Characters of Character. Today we're going to make the Poison Bear Puppet of Healthy Hippo. If you go to charactersofcharacter.org, click on Character Corner, you'll find a link that you can print out a paper bag puppet for Healthy Hippo. I printed mine on cardstock so it's a little bit sturdier. You'll need this. You'll need your glue, scissors, a lunch bag, you don't need to open it yet, and your crayons. Once you have those, you're ready to join me. Okay, I'm going to find my gray crayon first. That's what I'm going to use to color Healthy Hippo. If you look here, it's got instructions, but you're going to follow along with me, okay? So I'll do it step by step to show you. Maybe you'd like to take a copy of this, or you'll know where to find one, and you can make another one at another time, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, take our gray, we're going to color in healthy hippo. And you know what? It's okay if you go out of the lines because we're going to be cutting this out, and so that's okay. You cut on the outside line, and your scribbles will be cut off. So it's okay if you go out of the lines. But you know, while we're coloring healthy hippo, let's talk about what it means to have healthy habits. Healthy habits. That's something that you do every day. So let's talk about healthy foods. What are some healthy foods that you feed your body to stay healthy? Think about it. There's a lot of good food. Who said apples and watermelon? Those are awesome fruits. Apples, watermelon, bananas, grapes, strawberries, blueberries. Those are very healthy fruits for your body. Good job. So those are healthy fruits. Let's go ahead and think about um, healthy vegetables. Healthy vegetables that make your body so strong. I'm listening. Who said spinach? And asparagus. Broccoli. Those are great vegetables to feed your body. Those are healthy foods. Kind of gives your body energy to get through the day. You don't have to eat them all at once, but you should try having a mixed a mixed amount of fruits and vegetables every day to make your body healthy and strong. So eating healthy fruits and vegetables is part of having a healthy habit. What about drinking lots of water? Water is so good for your body. Eating fruits, eating vegetables, drinking lots of water. Those are healthy fruits and vegetables and water to make our bodies healthy. What about exercising to make your body healthy? Absolutely. What are some fun exercises that you can do? Ride your bike, yes. Taking a walk, very good. Running and jumping and skipping. You can do those usually outdoors, right? We don't run around the house. Those are healthy exercises. If you can't go outside, you can still do exercises like sit-ups or leg lifts, jumping jacks, just stretch your body. You can do those inside. Those are healthy exercises. Absolutely. All right, so we need to exercise. We need to eat healthy foods, healthy snacks. I'm going to go down here and color this now. What about washing your hands? That's a really healthy habit to have. Washing your hands before you eat meals. Washing your hands. Maybe you're helping cook in the kitchen. Wash your hands. That's important. If you sneeze or if you cough, maybe go up. Choo! If you do sneeze in your hands, 
be sure you wash your hands. Soap and water, wash those germs away. All right, almost done with this part. And I went out of the line and that's okay, right? Okay, I'm gonna put my gray away because Healthy Hippo has two ears to hear, just like you and I. So let's color those ears in. I chose pink. One and two. Okay, I'm ready for my scissors. Here's mine so far. Let me see yours. How'd you do? Well, you did really good. Nice job. All right, we're going to get ready. We're going to get ready to cut our paper bag puppet out. So we need our scissors. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut out the instructions. I'm going to have a picture of Healthy Hippo on here, too, and just put it to the side. Then you're going to stay on the outside line and just cut around. Do you see how I'm moving my paper? It makes it a little bit easier than moving my hand. My paper is easier to move than making my hand go all the way around all these spaces. But I'm staying on the line, doing my best to cut out the face of Healthy Hippo. And then once we put them together, you can tell Healthy Hippo. I'm going to come down here and cut the mouth out now. We can share with Healthy Hippo what we talked about today. Eating healthy foods, drinking lots of water, exercise, washing our hands, Let's add brushing our teeth. That's an important habit to have every single day. So we can talk about how we keep our bodies healthy. How can we keep our mind healthy? Think about that. Does anybody have any ideas to keep our mind healthy? I'm going to cut our teeth out while we're thinking about it. About, oh, who said reading? Reading is a great way to keep your mind healthy. Reading books, magazines, wherever you can read, learn new words, that's great. Exercise your mind. How about if we do artwork or paint or draw or build? That's a good way to keep your mind sharp. How about having a nice conversation and talking with other people? How about doing a puzzle? Those are great ways to keep your mind sharp and healthy. Okay, so here we have all our parts. We have our mouth, we have our face, and we have our two teeth. Now it's time to get our paper bag, and we still don't need to open it. Okay, find your glue. First thing we're going to do is glue the flap. This is the flap. Okay, keeping it down, we're going to glue the flap. I have a glue stick. Some of you might have the liquid glue. Just try not to do too much. I always say just a dot, not a lot. Okay, and then we're going to place his face on the flap, but I'm going to take his mouth and put it towards the bottom of the flap, just right about there, so I don't see the flap, okay? I'm going to press it down, and I'm going to press his face on, so I make sure that it stays glued, okay? It's going to look like this. Then we're ready to add his mouth. Under the flap, we're not going to go way up here because then you cannot see his mouth. So we're going to bring it down a little bit and glue it on. So you're going to take your glue again and just put a line of glue. My bag has a little crease in it. 
that's a good place to put your glue. Just do one line. Take my mouth there, and I'm going to press it down and make sure that it stays too. Okay. All right. So now it should look like this. Now we're ready to add. Oh, I'm going to move mine up just a little bit. You might want, there we go, just a little bit. Okay. It should look like that. Now I have two teeth. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the front, on the top like this, just a little bit of glue. Then I'm going to lift the flap a little bit, and I'm going to put it and glue it on like this. That's one tooth. I'm going to take the other tooth, just put a little line of glue here. And again, I'm just going to glue it like this. Press it on. I'll put the top on my glue so I'm sure it doesn't dry out. And then we are ready to put our hand in the paper band puppet to make Healthy Hippo. And together, let's tell Healthy Hippo some healthy habits that we learned today. Healthy Hippo. <laughs> healthy habits are eating healthy foods, eating healthy snacks, washing our hands, brushing our teeth, exercising our body, and exercising our mind. Hey, thanks for stopping in with Miss Tony and Healthy Hippo. Share with your family the tips that you learned on healthy habits. Remember friends, stay healthy.